Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance, KETCA, is raising concern over the continued distribution of controversial nicotine pouches in the country, popularly known as LIFT, despite a ban on the product last year. KETCA says that the product is harmful to human health and particularly to minors who are now reportedly purchasing more of the product. Health CS Mutai Kagwe had criticized the sell and the distribution of the product in October last year, but according to Ketka, the nicotine pouches are still being sold in the country. The circulation of the popular nicotine pouches, known as LIFT, was put under a microscope in October last year, and it appears the controversial narcotic is back at it once again. The Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance claims that distribution of the narcotic is still ongoing, especially among school-going children, despite a government ban on the same. The nicotine in this product is extremely addictive and harmful to health. According to World Health Organization, it is just addict as addictive as heroin and cocaine. The product is white in color in proportioned pouches containing tobacco-derived nicotine or synthetic nicotine. Users place it between the lips and gums for one to get satisfaction. The effect is said to be felt immediately and does not produce smoke. Distribution of the narcotic was halted in October last year by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe after he declared the registration of the product as illegal. This came after an outcry by parents and anti-tobacco groups to have the Ministry of Health ban LIFT. The Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance is concerned that LIFT is easily accessible and being abused by minors. The tobacco industry is well known for rubbishing tobacco control laws and it is it will not respect any regulation for the nicotine pouches. Lift is believed to have been reintroduced back into the Kenyan market after consultation between the Ministry of Health and the British American Tobacco Company resulted in the narcotic being classified as a tobacco product and not a medicinal drug. We are shocked that the Ministry of Health is now allowing, even after this product has been banned, is now allowing it back into the market. Lift, whose parent company was bought by BAT in 2019, is marketed as a safer alternative for cigarette smoking. Proponents of the narcotic say it's meant to help addicts quit the habit in a progressive sequence, but its critics will hear none of that offering an ultimatum for the product to be pulled off the Kenyan market. The tobacco industry has 21 days to comply, counted from the uh, 9th of February 2021. We call on the Ministry of Health to immediately revoke this move and uphold the ban on the illegal addictive nicotine purchase. Lift was introduced into the Kenyan market by BAT in 2019 and retails at about 20 shillings. A deal was reached by the distribution company to set up a production house for the narcotic here in Kenya. Details on the progress of the same remain scanty to this day.